Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Jamila and welcome back to my laboratory. You guys have been asking me to show you how to do an all over shirt. So that is what we'll do today. Special thank you to our friends over at Koala for providing us with the paper and shirt used in today's video. Make sure you check out the description box for a full list of the supplies used. And if you like the video, you learned something new, make sure you give me a thumbs up, share with your friends and subscribe to my channel. All right, guys, to begin this video, we're going to go ahead and start in Canva.com and we'll go over here to create a design. And I'm using 11 by 17 size paper, so I'm going to go to custom size and type that in. But since I use it often, it's already saved in here for me. So whatever size paper you're using, that is what you'll type in in the custom dimension box. So once we get to our blank screen, we'll go ahead to our uploads and just insert the images that we want to use today. And I will have the link for the Im images that I used in the description box below, as well as the affiliate link for you guys to purchase your koala paper and save 10% for the month of November. And after November, it is 8% off your purchase. Okay, so go ahead and make sure you use those links and save your coins, guys. Okay, so I have my images, and first thing I'm going to do is just crop this out a little bit because I don't want that I'm speaking. And to crop it, I just make sure my image is highlighted, and then I go up here to crop. And right here, I just want the words MVP. Madam Vice President. So I'll just crop that out and then I'll hit done. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm just going to go ahead and stretch my image out. Make it super big. Well, as big as the paper. Kind of lay that over, overlap like that. Okay, that looks good. And of course, you know, I can't just have a plain background, so I'm just going to like put this in the background. Bring it up a little bit so you can kind of see the words that is spelling. Let me see if I duplicate this and bring it to the bottom. That's pretty cool. All right, so we'll keep it like that. So now that we have our design, we're going to go ahead and crop it. So I'm going to highlight um, this main part right here and hit crop. And I'm just going to do it like about halfway. Okay. Then I'm going to duplicate this same page, highlight that same image, hit crop again. And this time I'm going to extend it back all the way out. And now I'm just going to crop the other side. And I do it like this 
because we already have our image. Um, okay, hold on. So when I crop it, I want to still leave kind of um, crop from where I left off before. So instead of like cropping it right here, I would still kind of crop it right there because when we tape it back together, we want to like tape it on top of each other. So you got it, it'll make more sense when I show you how to tape it back together, okay? But basically, just crop where you left off. But yeah, I was saying, what was I saying? I don't even remember. Oh yeah, I do it like this because we already have our image stretched out, right? So if I was to uh say make a new page and then try and re redo the design again and crop it that way we wouldn't necessarily get our images the same size and then our project would be off so that's why i just go off a duplicate of the page that i already created so that is two We have two sheets, um, a right and a left side. And let me add another page. And we're just going to uh, fill it with the dope design because originally I wasn't going to do anything for the sleeves. But let's go ahead and give it a shot. So I'm just going to put the dope on the sleeve. So I'm just going to duplicate this to cover a page. Okay, so I have my design how I want it. So you guys don't forget to go ahead and flip your image. Okay, make sure you flip everything before you print. But I'm not going to flip mine in this video because my printer settings already does that. But I just wanted to remind you to flip your image before you go ahead and save. Okay, so... Let me name this, and then I'll just go ahead and download. Make sure it's saving as a PNG. And save it to your computer. Save file, okay. Okay, so now that we have our images printed out, we're just going to go ahead and line it up. And the best way I've found to line up your image is to find a focal point. Like where my finger is, is my focal point. So I'm going to focus on making sure those lines match up. And usually um, the rest of the picture will fall into place. You may have to do a little bit of tweaking, but the name of this game is Patience, <laughs> okay? So um, I'm going to go ahead and trim off a little bit of extra. You don't want any white or any other color showing because it will show up on your uh, paper. So you just want to make sure you trim it really, really good. So bust out your favorite pair of scissors and use it for this project. <music> So once I have everything all trimmed and lined up how I want, I'm just going to go ahead and add a piece of heat tape right here in the middle of the paper to hold it um, for when I flip it over, it won't shift. And then we're gonna just go ahead and flip it over and trim off this little etch extra flap right here that we don't need. You don't wanna leave this big amount of extra paper because when you go ahead and press this image, it will seep through to the front of the picture and ruin your project so you just want to leave at least half an inch just so the top paper has something to lay on top of you want your design to overlap which is why we don't when we're doing the cropping we crop off where we left off in the beginning because this is how you reduce 
the visibility of the lines and kind of get that flawless finish okay and for whatever reason i couldn't get the bottom of my image to act right so i just went back to canva and cropped out another section and i'm just going to add that here okay name of the game is patience <laughs> gotta learn how to work around problems when they arise so i'm just going to trim the back and tape it really well just like we did previously and this is our print and it's looking really really good so far um i'm very excited and so this is the part we printed out for our arms and we're just going to go ahead and cut that in half and set it aside for now now the shirt we'll be using today is actually from koala i had no idea they made shirts but it's actually a really nice shirt as you can see when i put my hands um in it is not see-through it's really stretchy it feels really thick but not heavy i'm not sure what the poly count is because the tag doesn't say but um i do like this shirt so that'll also be in the description box for you guys so if you're looking for a shirt koala is an option all right so now i just took an old amazon box and stuck it inside my shirt because i like to have my shirt stretched out just helps the design a little bit more so we're going to go ahead and pre-press our shirt at 400 degrees for about 10 seconds then we'll take our craft bond adhesive spray and lightly spray our transfer and then stick it on there and i say lightly spray because i I went a little hard <laughs> with the spray and you'll see once we reveal the project and since i am working with the 15 by 15 heat press i have to press mine in sections and that is also another reason why i stick the cardboard box in there because when i move the shirt it helps with the shifting so i'll just go ahead and press that three times and here's the reveal So I'm using Cosmos ink in Koala shirt and it looks really, really, really good, y'all. And you can see where I went heavy with the spray, where it's light right there, kind of in the middle. That's where I went a little too heavy with the spray and it got wet. So yeah, lightly spray. <laughs> so then we're going to go ahead with the shirt and we're going to do our arms now. So we're going to go ahead and pre-press. And you guys, don't forget to lint roll your project. I almost totally forgot to do it, which is why it's not in the video. So we're going to go ahead and pre-press the arms just to try and get out all the creases. Because when y'all doing a shirt, man, arms can really ruin a good project. So I always like to do them separately and do them last. So then I'm just going to go ahead and press it 400 degrees for 60 seconds. And... Voila! And I still got a crease in there. Oh my goodness. But <laughs> it's still cute. It kind of goes with the design. And then I'm just going to go ahead and repeat the process for the other side. And that is it, guys. Here is our shirt. It is looking so super 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 dope as always thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe